morning, it's another day here on the Southern Downs. Yeah. Um, don't get cocky, no fap. Steam Trenching is not going to magically make you superhuman. And that's something I'm learning uh, at the moment. I mean, I've always known it, right? <laughs> but, no, it really, it's driving home the point that I'm not bulletproof just because I'm doing well on no fap. So, yeah, it's been really, really busy the past few days. Nothing, nothing bad has happened. I'm, I would say I'm doing pretty well, actually. But, yeah, I'm just being smashed at the moment with coursework. We've got two big assignments due um, coming up in from coming up this next Friday, so today's Sunday, so I've got six days including Friday to get them done. I've barely touched either of them. So yeah, two big assignments gonna smash them out. And yeah, yeah, I've really fell behind in the last few weeks with my coursework. Like I changed my major and stuff. Uh, subject I was doing, picked up a new one, had to catch up with that, but as a result I've fell behind in all the others, so I've spent the last week trying to catch up as much as I can, I'm still not caught up, but yeah, I've got to focus on the, these next two assignments, getting them done due, due, due this Friday, and yeah, really, I'm very motivated to do that now, because I've got the, the meetup on this next weekend, on Sunday is the meetup, so I'm going to make sure I get these done by Friday, and then Luckily, the next two weeks after that is uh, mid-trimester break. Well, it's not even really called break. It's not really a break. It's more like they call it flexible study period, where there's no new classes, but just an opportunity to catch up. Which I'll definitely need to catch up on like two weeks worth of stuff during that. Of course, on the next few assignments, which are then due shortly after the flexible study period. So, yeah, busy times. But at the same time, looking forward to a few things, looking forward to the meetup, looking for, and also looking forward to the uh, two road trips that I have coming up. There's one, there's one short one that I'll do in for the first week of July, I'm thinking. I'm starting to plan that out. And yeah, then I'll, on my proper uh, break, which is mid-August, like end of August, um, yeah, like 18th of August, that's when, that's when I'm going to go on a... Uh, like an even longer proper road trip, like I'm thinking more like uh, maybe five days or like a week. So yeah, getting excited for that. Prepared, but there's quite a few things to do to repair for that. Uh, I've got to get a few things fixed in my car as well. This week. I've got it put in basic service. I mean, luckily I've already fixed a lot, quite a lot of things working with old Eric. So there shouldn't be too much to do with this car. But there's a few. There's like actual like. I mean, issue I'm going to a Mazda dealer this time up in Toowoomba because there's a few uh, annoyances that I have with have things that aren't working with this car so like the yeah the boot is not locked in properly that it never has locked right locked actually like yeah you can just open the boot anytime it just doesn't lock even when my car is locked as normal and yeah it hasn't really been much of an issue to be honest because region where I live, we're pretty good in terms of uh, crime. I mean, there's issues as always, like with drugs and all that, and in some of the larger towns there is a little bit of homelessness, and oh, creeping up more and more, honestly, it's becoming more and more of an issue, but for the most part, like, uh, like petty crime and break-ins and all that, it's pretty much non-existent here, so I don't really have to worry, but especially for now, for when I travel more, you know, going to the city, or even just traveling other parts of the country that, you know, aren't so safe as here. Yeah, I definitely want to make sure that I fix that up. Like, even when I went to Armadale, the, my boot didn't lock, so, <laughs> which I wasn't worried then, because oh, it's a pretty safe area, but, yeah, you never know, you never know, so I'll do that, and, yeah, the door lights don't turn off. Even when I lock the car, like, the door lights just, they don't turn off. Like, the main light inside this car, like, it'll, it'll turn off, lights on the door whenever you open the door you know it turns on well now I lock the door lock the doors lock the car and the lights they turn off but then shortly after they'll just turn on and stay on throughout the night and pretty much just drain the drain the car drain the battery right and that's that's not good either so I'm gonna look get that looked at as well 
this week. So very busy, very, very busy. But yeah, man, no fab won't make you superhuman. There's going to be challenging times. There'll be difficulties, and you have to deal with them as normal. And I think for myself, like what's really adding to well, the perceived difficulty is I really have nothing to distract myself with anymore. I'm not watching YouTube. I'm not listening to music and wow the cravings for that has been really really intense like especially when I'm at work like I've got I've still got music playing in my mind especially when I'm at work like all the time now and oh boy like when I get home in the evening when I usually like to watch YouTube the craving has been very very strong so yeah but I'm hanging in there taking it day by day and the thing is one point I want to drive home no fab won't make you superhuman I know when I was deep in this addiction, addiction and all that, it's like I didn't even feel human. I I was d disconnected from myself. Didn't even know what I was feeling. I couldn't identify with anything. Like I was just drifting through life. But now I feel more human. I'm more in touch with my emotions, my feelings, and just a stronger sense of identity, a stronger sense of who I am, and that really builds into the you know, increased confidence. So I feel much more human than I was. I'm not superhuman. I'm not bulletproof. Like I'm yesterday. Saturday, my like double shift, and I was already looking at the assignments in the middle of that, so it was just constant go, and I was just, I was just, just exhausted by the end of it. So it won't make you superhuman, but it will make you human, it will give you the ability to become flexible, adaptable, and just deal with challenges as they come, as life is supposed to be, instead of just going towards um, distracting and addictive behaviors. So, yeah, that's where I'm at. Just a few things to fix in my car, but cause it needs to be done for my upcoming trips and yeah looking forward to the meetup as well so it's good I've got goals I've got things to look forward to uh, as well but yeah go to crack out these assignments these next two this next this next week for Friday and apart from that see you on the next one ciao